At the outset, UN Special Envoy for Syria, Stefan de Mistura, said his intention was for this round of Syria talks to be more businesslike. Even the rooms will be smaller, the type of meetings will be a little bit more interactive and proactive and more frequent. On the agenda in Geneva were four critical issues, or baskets as they're called in these negotiations. A new constitution, new elections, political transition and counterterrorism. Ambitions that, by the end, had not been fulfilled. In this round, we haven't discussed any of the four baskets. One thing the Syrian government delegation had addressed and condemned on the final day was Thursday's U.S.-led airstrike on Syrian pro-government fighters. We discussed the massacre that the U.S. aggressor committed yesterday in our country. This subject was widely discussed. For its part, the Syrian opposition delegation, disappointed by the lack of results and frustrated by the parallel Syria talks that have been going on in Astana, said that just holding these talks had been an achievement. We want to keep the political process here under the umbrella of the United Nations based on the Security Council resolution, which, uh, which provide us a, a true political transition by establishing transitional governing body. In his closing remarks, Mr. De Mistura tried to make the most of it all, heralding talks that were held about the technicalities of constitutional reform and insisting that discussions of the four baskets will and have to continue. We do have now a new process which can and should take place while the talks take place and perhaps even between them so that we actually go much more business-like, especially on a subject that we believe covers every other subject, which is the constitutional ideas and issues. When all is said and done, however, it's clear the lack of tangible results at this round of Syria talks has created an inescapable air of pessimism around a process that's been complex from the start and only seems to get more complicated as time goes on. Mohamed Jamjoum, Al Jazeera, Geneva.